we'll look at the different types of media options that we have the major media options we have so much we have internet we have uh, uh, you know social media now you have so many options today but then we'll look at the traditional and major media types and we'll also try to look at the what are what are the advantages that each of this type gives and what are the drawbacks of each of these uh, type of uh, media options so the first uh, we look at what are the types the first one is print media which includes newspapers and magazines your radio and television so newspapers which are one of the traditional uh, mediums used by businesses both big and small alike to advertise their businesses and what are the advantages the reach and definitely is the biggest advantage if if if, if you are talking about a, a leading regional daily uh, it is reaching to uh, literally a big percentage of of uh, your uh, your uh, regional population so the huge reach is definitely a big matter because everybody is using some kind of newspaper flexibility in deciding the ad size and placement you have flexibility because you have so many uh, options you have say typically uh, 14 to 16 pages in a newspaper and you have flexibility you can decide on whether i should make it in the cover page i should make it in the on the on the on the, on the, on the behind the uh, newspaper on the back page or in inner uh, pages or the position where you want to locate it should it be a full page should it be a very small size and all those things there is flexibility exposure to ad is not limited readers can go back to the message again if so to say if a particular advertisement has attracted you unlike say listening to an ad in a radio or seeing an ad in a television uh, you can actually go back to it and uh, read it any number of times that advantage is uh, there with newspapers free support in creating and producing ad copy there is definite support in case of uh, uh, creating an uh, ad copy often quick turnaround time it helps the ad to reflect the changing market condition can reach customers within a day or two of deciding if you are deciding to advertise on a newspaper today you probably can uh, talk to them and get it uh, up and running tomorrow in, in, in tomorrow's newspaper you don't have too much of a turnaround time which means that you can address the problem of changing market conditions over time the disadvantages ad space can be expensive because you have competition if you are talking about a leading uh, daily definitely uh, there is a high likelihood that your uh, ad space is expensive definitely not as high as uh, television channels but then uh, this definitely can have based on the uh, range it is uh, or, the, or the publications to which it is going ad has to compete against the clutter of other advertisers poor photo reproduction limits creativity no, normally in newspapers uh, quality of paper use wouldn't be that good uh, which can result in uh, uh, you know poor uh, visual uh, impact for your uh, this thing because you would have designed uh, your uh, ad in a particular manner which is in in a particular quality of uh, sheet which is not the way it is coming out short shelf life usually read once and then discarded uh, you don't read a newspaper once today i mean uh, at the end of the day i mean after the end of the day so shelf life for newspapers is so very less unlike say a magazine or a journal which poses as a problem a lot of people who are not the prospect will also be exposed to the ad this is the concept called overspending uh, wherein you are actually paying money for reaching to a public which you are not looking at which is beyond your uh, target or prospect customers prospective customers so that problem comes with telling a lot of overspending happens it's a highly visible medium which means that the competitors can quickly react to strategies like say today if you are a a retail shop is coming out and saying that i'm going to sell a particular product at a very low price at a, at a discount uh, this is seen by your customers and equally easily by your competitors as well so they can easily cop up with it and they can actually have a, 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 a you know strategy which can counter this with the increasing popularity of the internet newspapers face declining leaderships and readership and market penetration because um, you have applications in in, in smartphones today uh, of almost all major uh, newspapers which means uh, uh, the readerships of uh, you know uh, the newspapers is coming down uh, which is a definite threat for newspapers 
and then the second category of print media are magazines magazines are more focused albeit more expensive alternative to newspaper advertising this medium allows you to reach highly targeted audience let's look at the advantages directly it allows for better targeting of audience because uh, there are focused magazines like say health magazines are targeted at uh, you know motor uh, are related to automobiles uh, or related to management alone so you you can are related to top executives alone so you can have a specific uh, you can easily target your audience and uh, you know when you are talking about magazines high reader involvement means that more attention will be paid to the advertisement better quality paper permits better color reproduction and full color ads you know the quality of the paper would often be really good which means you have uh, unlike say a newspaper you can uh, really get a clear ad and uh, your visual idea would be communicated the smaller page permits even small ads to stand out if you are talking about advertising in a newspaper uh, you know it's a big uh, sheet that you're talking about and if it's a very small content that you have or small ad that you have because you have problem according to the in uh, higher ad space you have to give more money so uh, if you're keeping a small ad in the newspaper it is highly likely that uh, it goes unnoticed but unlike that in magazines even if it is that small it will not go unnoticed because uh, uh, the overall size of the magazine is very less the disadvantages of newspapers are one the lead time when i say lead time i am taking about uh, uh, disadvantages of magazines is the long lead time unlike in newspapers uh, magazines are normally quarterly or monthly basis which means that uh if i have to uh, bring in an ad on the next month this thing i have to decide now and then uh, only within a month or a quarter i can actually uh, show my advertisement in that particular magazine which means that uh, you know because of the slower lead time risk of ad getting overtaken by events is possible unlike say in a newspaper i can decide today and tomorrow or day after tomorrow's newspaper can have my content but this a uh, problem is this deficiency is there with magazines where in your lead time is long and slow there is limited flexibility in terms of ad placement and format you don't have too many options in front of you because you are talking about say uh, uh, same kind of uh, this thing and only say uh, 50 maybe you have 35 40 pages uh, but then everything of the same size and you have a front front cover Uh, maybe one ad will come in the back uh, you cannot have uh, normally ads in the front cover so the flexibility when compared to a newspaper is very less the space and ad layout costs are higher the space costs are higher because you are again targeting uh, you are looking at a specific target uh, it definitely is higher Now, radio the advantages radio is a universal medium enjoyed by people at one time or another during the day at home at work and even in the car i mean radio you you do listen to it maybe at the morning at home when you're uh, getting ready i mean uh, you're doing your uh, work at the morning so you will be listening alongside or you will be traveling to your office in your car that would be when you'll be listening to radio and so on and so forth it is it is a kind of a universal medium The vast array of radio program format offers to efficiency uh, efficiently target the advertising. You have so many programs, which means that according to the program, you can target your audience. Uh, so uh, your timing can be kept against a program, which most of your target audience will be listening to. It gives a business personality through the creation of campaigns used using sounds and voices. It gives a business personality uh, because you are you are uh, using some kind of a sounds and voices, and which repeats in all your uh, all your products. So, which means uh, all your advertisements. Which means you are giving a personality through your advertisement. Free creative help is often available. Rates can generally be negotiated. During the past 10 years radio rates have seen less inflation it has not gone up as such as, as much as say other advertising medium are concerned what are the problems or drawbacks of radio may have to advertise simultaneously on several stations to reach the target audience i mean uh, this works on the base of stations and it would be different based on say districts or even 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 uh, uh, you know uh, small uh, uh, states so it means that you will have to in order to reach in, in case of your uh, audience is spread across different stations you will have to simultaneously uh, advertise on different stations 
listeners cannot go back to their ads to go over important points so this is another problem that it has unlike a newspaper or a magazine wherein listeners can actually go back because they uh, they have some likeliness towards the ad uh, they can actually go back and uh, you know uh, look at it and take some kind of an action which is not possible in a radio ads are an interruption in the entertainment because of this a radio may require ad may require multiple exposure to break through the listeners tune out factor and ensure message retention it's highly likely that uh, you know you forget about the ad all on a sudden uh, which means that you have to actually give repetitive advertisements and uh, somehow make it into his mind bring it into his mind radio is a background medium most listeners are doing something else you don't sit uh, to listen to a radio to 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 radio uh, you normally would be doing something else as driving or traveling or or doing some other works uh, while this works in the background medium so uh, the attention that you will have towards this will be very less and particularly when it comes to the ad time people are highly likely that they'll not be listening to it at all they'll not be giving focus to it at all television large reach on a national or regional level in a short period independent stations and cable offer new opportunities to pinpoint local audiences offers the ability to convey convey message with sight sound and motion you you can have sight sound and motion you can touch all these three senses which means uh, you know uh, it's it's the best medium uh, visually so uh, th- these are the advantages of television but the problem is message is temporary uh, as in radio it requires multiple exposure because a reader cannot a, a viewer cannot actually come back and see the ad until there is some second exposure the preferred ad times are often sold out far in advance limited length of exposure limits the amount of information this is also important because uh, you know there are trps which measures uh, the rating of different programs and uh, you know there would be programs which has got high ratings which would be the most demanded ad spaces the spaces in between that would be the most demanded ad space and such spaces would be sent out would have been sold out very quickly so it is very difficult for you to find it and the third problem is limited length of exposure limits the amount of information because the length of exposure has to be limited because uh, you are paying per uh, second you know paying for the time that you are taking up uh, that's how uh, television will charge you so because of that you will have to keep it as short as possible you cannot go beyond a point which will be expensive and unaffordable so you will have to communicate this message in a very limited time which is a big problem and relatively expensive in terms of creative production and air time cost i'm not just talking about what will happen uh, or what will i have to pay for the time that i'm taking i'm also talking about what will uh, what will be the kind of uh, uh, you know uh, expense that i spend on creating this advertisement and then producing this advertisement and in producing i have to think about what kind of people are being there i mean i often have to use celebrities or models to uh, you know or experts to uh, be part of my advertisements so even i'm spending there and then you have air time cost so if you relate to different media that we have discussed this is uh, definitely the most expensive of them all